Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and it's High Tech being a goober again. Um, today we have a quick unboxing, uh, uh, unboxing and a quick review of the Elite Book 845 G8, I believe, from HP. Let's open this up. See if it comes with the charger. Put my knife of death away. I'll take that out. I'll go ahead and plug this in because we're gonna need this. It's probably dead. Be sh being shipped across the United States. All right, bubble wrap protecting the already been busted. Take that out. We can throw that aside. All right. Take this out. Don't keep the part where I say this is useless. That's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay, laptop bar, etc., etc. Probably can't show that because it might have my stuff on it. Credentials, and you can find my home. And Don't show it, bro. You can probably actually see it through the paper. Okay, so. First off, we can see it does have very bad physical damage, like there's a dent here, but what I'm saying is I could probably just bend this a tiny bit and it'll screw on perfectly. Um, so, and then the back, the back is fine, so it's just these two corners. Let me make sure the screen isn't like busted up or something. The screen's fine, we're gonna need to tighten that hinge. So yeah, everything looks fine, it looks simple. The first thing I'm gonna do um, is, why does it have airplane mode? Anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is try to bend those corners back. All right. Get out the trusty old screwdriver. Okay, so this looks like it's, like it's actually pretty simple. HP got kudos for making this not super bad, which is actually a, a, another bonus. Captain screws are amazing. <clears throat> we have, I assume, yeah, we got SSD there, I believe. Stop looking at me, look at the computer. Um, we have battery, fan. This looks like it's actually pretty fresh, so I don't think it has, like, there's no dust or anything, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna redo the thermal paste, but I'm not 100% sure that's needed. All right, let's go to the needle nose. So, as you can see, right here, I think it's right here, yeah. Specifically right here. It's pretty bent. So, so I need the back plate to know exactly how this goes. So, okay, so I'll just bend these things. Yeah, it's not amazing, and there's still like a decent bump there, but I think it's the best I can do. All right, the charge port is on this side. Nice. Plug that in, and the power button is right there. And we wait for an eternity. The screen works at least. They said there wasn't an OS installed. Okay, great. So we have Windows 10 nonsense, crazy stuff. I guess I'll go ahead and show you the specs because why not? Um, task Manager. <clears throat> we have a Ryzen 7 Pro 5850U. Great. We have 16 gigs of RAM, an SSD, and Radeon graphics. Doesn't say which one, but that's fine. So yeah, this is actually a pretty sweet laptop. Uh, once we get Windows 11 Pro, it's not yeah Windows 11 installed Atlas OS actually, um, specifically because we want as much performance as possible. We're gonna um, get stuff like Minecraft installed and because that's the main thing we use it for. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna try to get BMG Drive on this um, and like more Thunder and stuff. Uh, I won't care about uh, performance obviously because I'm not expecting much. But my goal is that BMG Drive could run at at least 60 FPS and lowest maybe at 900p. So let's get this bad boy turned off. All right, it's like a week later because I actually went on vacation. Um, a lot of things happened, but <clears throat> uh, I can guess I can finish the video finally. So uh, I'll show performance um, and stuff like that. So let's just get in here. I'll start off with Minecraft. Actually, no, I'll start off with the Geek Pinch. So let's open up Geek Pinch over here. So as you can see, this last one, these two, these last two are this laptop uh, scoring roughly eighteen hundred and single core and roughly 6200 and multi-core. Compare that to my computer, which is right here. That is stinking close, 1700 and 7200. About a thousand points more in multi-core on my Ryzen 5 3600, but that is really impressive. And uh, let me remind you, it has a Ryzen 7, uh, Ryzen 7 Pro 5850U, eight cores. So that's, that's, that's pretty sweet. If I do say to myself, hello, focus, bro. Okay, um, then we'll do Steam. Okay, so we'll open up BMG Drive here. 
run it in regular Direct 3D 11. And we can see the FPS. Alright, so here we are on the absolute lowest settings at below 720p. And we're getting roughly almost 60, more like 50 at most of the parts. So if I add cars, that's like even worse. So I'm not going to do that, obviously. But yeah, you get the idea. This is an amazing performance. I mean, it's pretty impressive for a laptop without a dedicated, dedicated GPU. Um, but it's also not amazing. So that's, that's Beam Engine Drive. Now we'll head over to Minecraft. All right, so if we go over here to our Minecraft server, and <clears throat> this is one twenty one, by the way. Uh, let me do and turn down the volume a lot because holy cow, that's loud. Okay, so if we go here to my base. Let's get out of here. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, you know. Sorry, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay. It is currently raining and I have V-Sync on, so let me fix that. I'm just gonna mute this. Okay, video settings. We're running at um, 10 trunks because the server's set to that. Uh, we have uh, V-Sync off now. Um, yeah, everything should be like around lowest. Let me check. Yeah, everything's on fast graphics and stuff. And I'm getting murdered by a zombie. And we're getting around 154, 180. Oh my gosh, focus. But I see up to the 200 sometimes in certain areas. Um, it's just great. So this is actually amazing for for Minecraft, which is the main thing we're using it for. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it for performance. Uh, I'll talk about the laptop itself. Pros and cons. Um, my favorite, so I'll talk about the good things first. It has a great CPU. It has 16 gigs of RAM, 5 gigabyte NVMe SSD, which is amazing. Um, it has this nice little Touch ID thing, which I think is underrated, and I actually use a lot more than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I think I think it's great. It, it, it runs well. Uh, I, I can't think of anything else. Oh, yeah, we got it for a really good deal. As far as the cons, we have all the physical damage, like the corners and this crack. Uh, battery life is bad because it's a laptop, and it's um, not necessarily... At full capacity, I think it's kind of old. And the other thing that I dislike about it is it the cooling system. It's a single fan cooling for a decently powered CPU. I would have liked if they had done two fans. Um, but other than that, I think it's kind of good. So yeah, I would honestly recommend this laptop if you can get it for under $500. I got this one for $200 again. Um, so that, that, that was a steal. And laptops generally like this because AMD has, tend to have better um, APUs and laptops. But anyway, so I, as in conclusion, I think this is a decent laptop. I'm amazed and glad I bought it because it runs great for Minecraft. Um, yeah, I, I would recommend it for light gaming. Mostly, I would focus on the intended uses of like word processing and video editing. Maybe not, maybe not video editing, but light stuff like that. And maybe some Minecraft here and there. But overall, I think this is a great laptop, great build quality that, before it was damaged um, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, honestly, if laptops like this, I would recommend. So make sure to like, subscribe, to what you thought in the comments below, and check out my other videos, which will be coming out soon, because hopefully my channel isn't falling off by.